folks, Jesse here. I just wanted to, to do a little video today to talk, talk to you about what we've been doing at Kessel Run Hair and Collectibles. Uh, for those that don't know, we are a hair salon based here in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, but we're also diehard Star Wars fans and collectors. So we do a bit of collectibles. That's why there's hair and collectibles. I know it's an unlikely, it's an unlikely combo, but it works. Um, but yeah, we've been sort of dabbling a little bit. Um, with a few different things over the years, but uh, we're, we're really hitting hitting our stride and we're having some fun with 3D printed goods. Um, a lot of diorama pieces and action figure stands, which is something I'm gonna be sharing with you today. Um, yeah, I'd love for you guys to come and check out kesselrunhair.com. Um, at the moment, we're sort of in the process of working out uh, what international shipping could look like, um, how to get things out further than just on, off the uh, island of Australia. So we're working on that. Um, Stay tuned to the Instagram too, kessel.run.head.collectibles. Um, I'll have a link down the bottom. Um, come follow us on our own YouTube channel as well. That'd be super duper. And uh, yeah, we have a bit of fun. We do a podcast. We just we just love our work and we have fun while we're doing it. But yeah, like I said, what I'm here today is show you some of the new stuff we've been working on in terms of the 3D printing, action figure stands, a few diorama pieces. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go and have a look. All right, folks, so what we've got here is our sort of first range of various, various different products. Don't have them all, unfortunately, on me, um, but enough to sort of show what we've got. Um, I'm going to come back to the stands. So we've got action figure stands. I'm looking forward to talking about them. Stay tuned. Well, I think I think these are going to be a hit. They're a hit with me. We've put a lot of work into getting these happening, so I'm looking forward to talking about them. At the moment, we have a couple of different size canisters. Um, these will be printed in plain white. For anyone that orders them um two sort of different designs here and they are stackable so they are ring got a ring in the bottom ring in the top and yeah you can kind of stack them like so like so they're sort of you know they're all interchangeable you can sort of stack them you can place them um and we sort of scaled these you know they, they're, they're very versatile so you don't need to scale them for a particular action figure we've sort of gone with you know three and three quarter inch which i've got here which is your classic vintage collection um vintage kenner you know these figures have been around since the 70s and then the more recent black series so slightly bigger this is a sort of a six inch or one twelfth scale where these are one eighteenth scale for those playing at home so i thought i'd just bring these in just so you can kind of see and have, have a look at how they compare also we have some larger barrels, larger can can canisters. I keep wanting to call them barrels, but I've definitely uh, wanted to call them canisters. So we've got a couple of those. So at the moment, I think these are sold in packs of four. And so are the little ones, they're all packs of four. And we have what we're calling crates. So there, these are got this sort of design, very much Star Wars inspired all the way around. Nice flat edges, you know, sort of scale with R2-D2 here, like whether it's a weapons box or something. And then, you know, slightly bigger ones here as well. Which, you know, you can scale these with both. It doesn't really matter. It's totally up to your imagination as to how you display these things. Um, but, you know, they're all very clean prints, really nicely done. You can kind of see the, the light reflecting on the line work, but... Yeah, they're really, really nice and clean. Beautifully done. And then we also have, I only have one size here. This is the large um, box, large KR box. That's what we're calling them. So we've got the KR box, the KR crates, and the KR canisters. KR for Kessel Run, obviously. Um, and yeah, this is the sort of the larger scale. But again, like I said, not out of place with either, depending on how you're displaying it. But yeah, we really like the design done by done by sketch and design he's done a really good job of, of producing these for us and we, we've printed them ourselves here's one just using a different kind of filament that we use so that's really nice and yeah we do have some that are scaled down obviously uh 66 of the size to bring down to that scale between between these two it's a 33 percent drop for, for the smaller box. So that's cool. Now, we haven't got any figures with peg holes in them. So I'm gonna grab a couple and we'll talk about these stands. 
All right, so what I've got here is a Black Series six inch scale Mandalorian and a three and three quarter inch vintage collection Mandalorian here too. So we're gonna take a look at these stands and what we decided to do. So we, we obviously we're all collectors. I'm a collector, you all know that. Um, and what we found out, what we just sort of decide in the process was that we needed multiple options for these figures, you know. We, we tried playing with some stands and uh, they weren't all working, they weren't all uniform. Um, it's obviously Black Series pegs, TVC pegs, different in size, but we wanted to create a stand that was able to do both. Um, obviously, between figure to figure, there are a lot of variations between, you know, Mandalorian and a Darth Vader might be different, or a Yoda, you know, he might have different size feet. Same goes with the Black Series. Fine, they're mostly uniform. They've mostly got that same sort of almost hexagonal sort of hole. They're almost molded very similarly. So we thought we were pretty safe by putting a nice, a nice thick peg on it at the side there. So then we we played around. This is... I think this is like the third or fourth, fourth version. And this is the one we're sort of settling on now because it's worked out really well. Um, the other two, you know, this middle middle size peg here on the side, that's sort of most vintage collection and, you know, even some of the smaller Black Series figures, the six inch ones. Then, then, then in the middle, you get those sort of slightly more dainty uh, TVC action figures, three and three quarter inch scale. And they work for that. And the other little notch we have in there you see this sort of u-shape from there we it's an it's an arch there's our kessel run millennium falcon so what you can do is you actually pop that out it's a nice firm fit so if you want to if you want to leave that in there it's not going anywhere um once you pop it out you can simply peg it into those two holes as you can see it does plug in there you know, there's, there's obviously going to be, with 3D printing, there's obviously going to be variations. If there's something you decide you want to you want to display, you can super glue it in there. You can do whatever you want. It's it's very easy to use. Most of them will sort of hold in there reasonably well. But, you know, as far as 3D printing goes, there's going to be slight little differences. And if you want to, they will sort of slot back in there and, and hold tight. So that's, that's also a bonus. So we designed this as a fourth option just for that extra figure stability. Some figures have bigger feet. So I don't know where the Mandalorian's going to fit well here, but you can kind of kind of see that the foot sort of wedges in there a little bit. Obviously, it's going to work better if you glue it down, but that's up to the individual. So it just adds a little bit extra stability for the figure, but again, with the peg... That like a glove fits wonderfully, and yeah, having a nice, nice sort of clean white disc, white circle. Um, we may end up printing in different colors. We'll see how we go. We're sticking with white at the moment, and yeah, you can get the figure on a. You know, it's not tipping over. Same with this one. Let's have a look. I think oh, I worked out that it's that one. Let me check that out. Boom, not going anywhere. Really, really cool. We're really, really impressed. We're really happy with how this design's come out. And again, like I said, we're all collectors. We display our action figures. We did our research. I personally tested. I couldn't tell you how many figures I tested in my own collection to get these pegs sort of where they are now. And the beauty is too, if you find they're a little bit long, like we, we, we've tried longer pegs, we've tried shorter pegs, you shouldn't have too many issues, but if you do find that you know your foot goes in, it leaves a little leaves a little gap. What you can do, you can sand it down a little bit. You know, it's this three D printed filament, so you can work it down. You can do all sorts. You can paint them up. If you prefer black, just a quick coat of spray, and that'll do it. You can do whatever you like with them. But yeah, I'm looking forward to. You know, <laughs> I'd love to one day do all my action figures with these stands just to get rid of blue tack and and other stands that just haven't worked for me they're not uniform I'll buy a stack and you know it works with some figures and some with not um so what we've tried to achieve here is something that is that can work for multiple 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 figures in multiple scales so i think 
at this stage, we've achieved it. We're looking forward to seeing what other people think out there. Um, come to kessleronderhair.com. You can get a pack of 10. I think it's $5.50 Australian. Um, you know, check out everything else we've got. But yeah, just want to do a quick video just to talk about this stuff. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please come and check us out, kessleronderhair.com. Love to get your thoughts and feedback. Let us know what you think. Um, and yeah, drop us a follow. Come and join us for the, for the fun. And uh, yeah, if you're coming from Adelaide, South Australia, or if you're visiting Adelaide, drop by and come and see us. We're at Westfield Marion Shopping Centre. We'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always. Yeah.